Hello friends, welcome back to Nanotech. I hope you all are doing good. Today's topic is nanozymes. Nanozymes are nanomaterials that have enzyme-like properties. Nanozymes have much attention as a new research area in the field of artificial enzymes due to their distinct properties, when compared to natural enzymes and traditional artificial enzymes. Nanozymes have several advantages over natural enzymes, including low cost, ease of mass production, resistance to harsh environments, high stability, long-term storage, size, and composition-dependent activity. Nanozymes also have distinct properties such as size, shape, structure, composition-dependent catalytic activities, integrated multifunctions besides catalysis, large surface area for further modification and bioconjugation, smart response to external stimuli, self-assembly capability, and so on. The nanozymes have got remarkable attention due to their unique properties compared with natural enzymes and classic artificial enzymes. Many nanomaterials have been tested to mimic natural enzymes such as catalase, oxidase, peroxidase, and superoxide dismutase, esterase, nuclease, phosphatase, protease, and ferroxidase are among the natural enzymes. Some of the nanomaterials are ferromagnetic nanoparticles which mimic the peroxidase, nanogold, and nanoceria which mimic the oxidase, fuller in derivatives as superoxide dismutase mimic, MOF as protease mimic, platinum nanoparticles as catalase or peroxide mimics. With remarkable stability, a group of researchers created 1 to 2 nanometers platinum nanoparticles within apoferritin, PTNP at apoferritin. Surprisingly, the platinum nanoparticles at apoferritin displayed two enzyme mimicking activities, catalase and peroxidase. Both actions are affected by pH and temperature. The results showed that increasing the pH and temperature increased the catalase like activity, whereas the peroxidase like activity maximized at physiological temperature and slightly acidic environments. When the platinum content was increased, the nanoparticles had a higher catalytic activity. Preparation of nanozymes. Conventional methods for preparing nanozymes include hydrothermal methods, solve other mall methods, co-precipitation methods, sol gel methods, and others. Hydrothermal method. The hydrothermal method is an aqueous reaction that recrystallizes materials in a closed system at high temperatures and high vapor pressures. This method was used to create nanozymes with crystalline phases that are not stable at the melting point. The Solvothermal method is commonly used in the preparation of nanozymes. Solvothermal synthesis is the use of a solvent at high temperatures, typically between 100 and 1000 degrees Celsius, and high pressures, typically between 1 and 10,000 atm, to prepare a wide range of materials such as metals, metal oxides, and semiconductors. The co-precipitation method causes two or more solutes to precipitate from a solution together rather than remaining scattered in it. The ability to prepare pure and homogeneous material is the key benefit of this method. A co-precipitation approach can be used to make nanozymes using many components. Applications of nanozymes. Nanozymes have been widely used for wide range of applications such as cancer diagnostics and therapy, biosensors, immunoassay, and environmental engineering. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.